you focus a lot on your problems, on what's not going right, we're gonna talk all about how if you shift the way you think, you can change your entire day, your entire week, and your entire year. Stay tuned, that's what's up next. Hi, my name's Natasha Daniels. I'm a child therapist and I make videos for kids with anxiety and OCD. Today I wanna to talk to you about the power of your thoughts. I always tell kids that I work with that what you think has so much to do with how you feel. And if you can learn how to control where you put your attention, so much of your anxiety or your OCD or just your daily struggles will start to go away because we cannot put our attention on two things at once. So if I am hyper-focused on the things that are bad and terrible, things that hurt me or that I'm worried about, or I'm focusing on all my bad thoughts, I have no wiggle room for anything else that's good. And so my days are gonna be bad. And in fact, the more I focus on the bad things, the more bad things I start to focus on. It's a vicious cycle. So the more I worry, the more worries flood in. The more I focus on my bad thoughts, the more bad thoughts I have. The more I'm worried about a pain or a nausea or a sickness, the more I'm gonna feel those sensations in my body. And so you wanna train your brain, and it seems simple, but it actually is pretty tricky to do. You wanna train your brain to refocus its attention on things that are good. Seems stupid, seems simple, but honestly, even adults have a hard time doing this. So if you can master this, you're going to master a lot more than just a good day. You're going to be able to shift your thoughts and have control over whether you're feeling really happy or really nervous all day long. So think about the things that you really enjoy. What kind of things do you enjoy doing? Do you enjoy building things or reading about things or playing video games or watching certain YouTube channels like me? Or do you like going outside and roller skating or rollerblading or playing with the neighbors? It doesn't matter. We all have our things that we like to do, but you might wanna make a list of all the things that you really like or make them in your head and think about these are the things that make me happy. These are the things that bring me joy. Now, what kind of thoughts bring you joy? So you also wanna make a list or make a list in your brain as well. I'm not much of a write it all down kind of person, but a lot of people are. Make a list here or here about the kind of thoughts that you have that make you happy. Do you like daydreaming about ice skating? Do you like daydreaming about rollerblading? Do you like daydreaming about skateboarding? Do you like daydreaming about your video game? Do you like daydreaming about horses? I don't know, but there are things and thoughts that make you happy. So make a list of those. And when you are hyper-focused on the negative, do I feel sick? Oh gosh, I think I feel sick. What's gonna happen? I'm so worried, what if this happens? Or what if that happens? Or I'm so nervous about going to school. You want to refocus your attention and you wanna pick something that's joyful in your world. Now, I'm not talking about distraction. I'm not a fan of distraction. And you should watch my YouTube video on red thoughts and green thoughts and how to tackle your thoughts because I am a big fan of tackling our anxious thoughts head on and not putting a Band-Aid on top of them. However, once you've done that or you do that when you're not having those feelings, you wanna refocus your attention on something that brings you joy. Because when joy is around, guess what happens to worry? Worry is like, I'm out of here. Worry and joy are not friends. They don't like each other. So when joy shows up with her blue hair, if we're gonna go the inside out route, and she's all happy, happy, worry's like, I'm so out of here. Like, this is boring. I just wanna sit here and like lament over the problems of the world. And joy won't let me do it, so I'm gone. So invite joy into your world, kick worry out, focus on something that's positive. Worry will try to knock on the door once in a while and come back, but you don't have time for that, right? We know none of us have time for that. And try to focus on bringing your attention back. You're gonna have to forcefully do it because it's not gonna feel natural and worry is very much at home in your brain. So shift, invite some new people into your brain, into your world, and start living a happier life. Just another tip to try. I hope you find the sparkle in everything you do, and I will talk to you again next Thursday. Take care. When I first discovered Natasha, I was in a desperate place with my son, and his anxiety was getting worse, and we had tried counseling, and it was not going well. We were told at that point 
you know, we can't help your son, early intervention is great, he's too young. Parenting a child with anxiety is not easy, and sometimes it feels hopeless. First time we took her to a therapist, who then dismissed her after about a year and a half, putting it down to bad parenting. But what if it didn't have to be that way? What if you could join a community with parents in the same boat, with kids with similar struggles and issues? What if you could have access to resources that will help you with behavior and sleep and avoidance and opposition and fears? What if you can have somebody walk with you on your journey, someone with clinical expertise and parental knowledge? Hi, my name is Natasha Daniels and I'm a child therapist and a mom to three kids. And I've dedicated my life and my career to helping kids with anxiety and OCD, including my own. And now I want to help you too. I have created the AT Parenting Community to do just that. When you join as a member of the community, not only will you get access to resources that will help you with your child's struggles and help your family reduce the chaos in their home, you're going to be joining a community of parents just like you with knowledge, love, and support to give. You will get access to online classes that will help your child and your child's struggles. You'll also get bonus videos and podcast material made just for members. And I've got your kids covered too. You'll have access to a library full of worksheets and videos specially designed for your kids by myself and other therapists. But that's not the best part. You're gonna be getting direct attention from me and I will be giving you support in many different ways. I'll be doing Facebook Lives every single week in our private Facebook group where members can go to talk and get support. I'll also be doing office hours in our private Facebook group. So once a week, you can ask me whatever you want. I'll be available for an hour to answer your direct questions. But if you need a little bit more support, I've got you covered too, because I will be doing coaching calls for those that need it twice a month. And for those that need even more support, I'll be doing once a month support group calls. And I'll be doing a member spotlight call. So I'll be picking one member every month and I'll be walking them through the process of helping their children. And you'll have access to the replay and to that phone call as well. Raising a child with anxiety or OCD is hard, but together we can get through it. Natasha gave us practical tools. She wasn't like the books that we had read. If you have a child with anxiety or OCD, she is your go-to woman. Um, Natasha had practical real life advice that we started implementing the day that we listened to them. In a desperate time in my journey with my son, she has been a lifesaver. Her resources have given me hope, they've given me tools and support, and they're some of the best resources you can find out there for anxiety and OCD.